This lesson is about the direct object. The direct object is a noun, a noun phrase, or a pronoun that receives the action of a verb. Let's look at these two examples. Le chat mange une souris. The cat eats a mouse. Une souris, a mouse, is the direct object because it receives the action of mange, eats, the verb. You think of the cat eats what? Une souris. Une souris is the direct object. In this case, the professor le voit à l'école. The teacher sees him at school, sees whom, whom, le, him or her, or it, okay, will stand as the direct object. And you will notice that it comes before the verb, and we're going to explain that a little bit later. The direct object is a thing, an animal, a person, or a place as well. The pronoun is those, uh, the little word that stands for a noun, pronoun, and it refers to a thing or something that comes before, me, me, te, is you, le, la, le, elle apostrophe is him or her or it, les, them, nous, is us, vous, is you, for more than one person. Look at this example and try to spot the two direct objects. Le, mo le garçon mange un sandwich. Il le mange à la cantine. Yes, un sandwich and le are the two direct objects. Why? In the first sentence, le garçon mange un sandwich. Un sandwich is the direct object because it receives the action of mange, eating. Il le mange, he eats it. Again, le stands there as the direct object because it receives the action of mange. And by the way, le stands for un sandwich, which is masculine, singular, and that's why we use le. If the word that uh, the direct object pronoun stood for was feminine, then you would have la. And by the way, if the verb started with a vowel, you would have an apostrophe, and so on. Let's look at the position of the direct object. The noun generally appears after the verb, the pronoun, before. Look at these examples again. Le garçon mange un sandwich. Un sandwich comes after mange. Il le mange, le, the pronoun, comes before. This diagram shows you clearly how and why uh, the direct objects are placed where they are placed. And we are going to do exercises on this so you can understand clearly how this all works. The noun remains after the two verbs when there are two verbs, but the pronoun is placed between them. Look at this, this example. Je veux le manger. I want to eat it. Je veux le manger. Le stands for it, but it's in between two verbs in English. It comes after the two verbs. I want to eat it. Now hopefully that's clear, and hopefully you will do the exercises to understand better and to apply what you've just learned. Mm -hmm.